Hi, I'm Caroline Dowd Higgins, and here's a pro tip to help you thrive. Diane, it's so good to see you. Thanks for spending time with me Thank today. Thank you. So I am so grateful that you're willing to tell your story about your career reinvention. I know that you were trained as a professional dancer and a choreography and loved that career. And then life changed, which sent you in a different professional direction. Tell us about that. Uh, and that is correct. I, my dream my entire life was to be a professional ballet dancer. So two things kind of happened. One, I realized that I wasn't going to grow any taller than five feet. Um, <laughs> and uh, that's, the, that's not the body type for the ballet world. So I sort of steered my direction in, in the line of modern dance um, and then got married, had two children, and unfortunately the marriage didn't work out. I stepped out on my own. I was a stay-at-home mom for eight years with my children and uh, had to come out of all of that finding a career that had a 401k and mm -hmm. insurance and things like that to protect myself and my family. So um, ended up, uh, I was doing some volunteer work while I was a stay-at-home mom for the Boys and Girls Club Auxiliary. And then um, after I left that, started doing choreography for my own dance company. Learned on my own through going to the library how nonprofits work, 501c3s, um, how to fundraise, realized I kind of had a passion for it and was good at it. Mm -hmm. So ended up uh, through a series of jobs, um, working in event planning all the way up through now being the major gift officer for Bloomington Hospital Foundation. Um, found out that I loved it. But what I love about that is all of these things have always been a part of you and you just peeled away the layers. It, and it gave is yourself true. permission to say, <laughs> there's more to me. Exactly. And that was a, that was a tough thing because yeah. I, um, I always thought, I'm a ballet dancer and that's all I'm going to ever be and that's and that's all I ever wanted to be. Mm -hmm. So I didn't, it, it never crossed my mind that I could be anything else. And then as I started to realize there was other things in the world, um, I wasn't involved in any other activity in high school but ballet. That's all I did was dance. Mm -hmm. uh, went to college, that's all I did was dance. And so I didn't realize there was all these other things that I could have been doing. And now I'm out there experiencing new things. Um, and develop, being in development is one of them. Diane, you mentioned that uh, in this scenario, it was necessity, right? It wasn't necessarily choice or whimsy. You had to make a change. Tell Correct. me about that. Well, I was married for eight years, and because I was a stay-at-home mom, I had no income mm -hmm. going in. Prior to getting married, I was an adjunct professor at Butler University mm -hmm. in the ballet department, um, making very little money mm -hmm. and obviously with no benefits. Got married assuming that I'm going to stay married for the rest of my life mm -hmm. and not going to have to worry about those things. I could teach dance, I could dance myself, I could choreograph and then when the marriage didn't work and we were only married for eight years and not ten and I was no longer going to receive any social security benefits or yeah. anything like that I got scared. Mm -hmm. I had never had a job that had a 401k that had um, the safety nets right, that those right. jobs, because when you're a dancer, when you're in fine arts, it's... Honey, you're an artist. <laughs> you're living your passion. You, I totally understand. Ex yes, you will do anything yes. to be we'll able to be on food. the stage. Yes, yes, to be on that stage. And so um, I, I, I then started to figure out what I was good at and mm -hmm. and finding development and finding fundraiser, fundraising. I like to talk to people. Yeah and I like to meet people. And if there's something that I'm really passionate about, if there's a cause that I'm really passionate about, I don't find it hard to ask for money. Mm -hmm. I find it to be easy. And that's kind of what led into um, being involved in development. What I love about this story is it, it was a way for you to rediscover who you were, yes. right? And you yes. just learned about all these skills and strengths that you always had, but you got to use them in different ways. And that is true. I find that um, a lot of times people in the performing arts present well, mm -hmm. and it made it easy to go out there and speak with people and, and, uh, and present myself in that way. And I think that's where dance paid off for me.